एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ थेक ट्विंस लव स्टोरी सो द फर्स्ट एपिसोड लिंक विल गेट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इफ यू वांटेड टू गेट वार्निंग थैंक्स पी ओ वी आई एम सो एक्साइटेड आई गेट टू सी माय बॉय फ्रेंड हां जी अगेन टुडे आफ्टर योर स्टडीज हॉट मेक आउट सेशन आई थिंक आई एम रेडी टू गो अ लिटिल बिट फॉर द I am still not ready for the real thing though I want to be in love with the guy I lose my first time to and while I do really like Hanji I am not in love with him yet but I'm definitely starting to like him I wasn't necessarily ashamed of being a 24 year old and untouched but I still hadn't told Hanji about me being like this I didn't want to freak him out the guy i dated before hanji freaked out and refused to go on a third date with me after i told him i was still untouched and wanted to wait until things were serious between us to have the thing i think i will tell hanji tonight and our relationship is getting serious and i'm sure I will be ready soon. A lot of people think I am a hopeless romantic even even my old brother teased me about it but my twin we though thought he thinks it's cute. I would say I am a hopeless romantic. I just want someone I can trust who will take care of me, listen to me, make me smile, never cheat on me and love me forever. Is that too much to ask? I turn off the engine and walk onto Hanji's apartment complex. As I approach his apartment, I started to get nervous. What if he thinks I'm dumb for waiting, wanting to wait? But then I think of how sweet he has been so far, and how even though he got frustrated every time I stopped our making out sessions, he had always respected my decision. is smiling and knock on the door i hear suffering and after a few seconds sanji open the door the smile is immediately wipe off my face when i see him standing there without cloth and hear cries coming from inside his apartment he was cheating on me he we had agreed to a faithful relationship so why did it seems like he was cheating on me my face paled i feel a knot forming in the pit of my stomach but my breathing is speed up i should just walk away but i needed to be sure that he is actually cheating must bring up some courage i managed to force the words i cheating on me hanji shrugs well you wouldn't let me so what did you expect when he opened his mouth i smell a strong smell on his breath I instinctively took a step back. I hated drinks. My father after my mom mother left, I started drinking and one once he started he was angry all the time. Most of the his anger was directed at me since I looked the most like my mother while my brother Saul had more of my father's features he his brutal was mostly verbal but one day while all my brothers were out he had beat me within an inch of my life since then my father was in jail and my brothers had become extremely protective especially we he was tiny but strict and didn't take stupidity from anyone i need to leave i take another step back and notice hanji's eyes now have a evil glint in them i turn to run back down the corridor but i was too late i feel hanji's hand cover my mouth and i was dragged towards his door tears flow down my cheeks and my heart breaks at trusted him i needed to get away
I started kicking, screaming, scratching, elbowing him in his rib and trying to bite his hand. Anything I can do to get away. I feel another set of hands pulling me towards the apartment door. They got me inside the room and Hanji's hand comes away from my mouth. What are you doing? Help me. I scream at the top of my lungs but my scream is cut short with the cloth stump stopping me from making any noise i kicked the and begin trying to get free from but my efforts are in vain they force me onto the bed and the other two guys that were there hold me down i pleaded with hanji with my eyes begged him not to do this but he just took a swing of vodka the four of them took turns holding me down and doing the horrible thing to me i was in and out of consciousness and everything hurt i don't know how long they held me down and had their way with me but eventually they tired themselves out and let go of my hands and leg i am in so much pain but my mind is still feels numb silent tears run down my face as i scoop up my clothes and struggling to put them on back on by the way if you ever say anything to anyone will do the same to your brother v um I would love to see that pain in his eyes as I do this to him over and over again. One of the guys threatens, how did he know about who my brother was? Did Hanji tell him? Did they plan this? My breathing hinges, no, no, no. They cannot touch my brother. I nodded before limping towards the door. It hurts so much to move but I slowly made my way to my car. I bimper as I sit in the driving seat. I can feel the red stings staining my pants. My dream of a perfect first, first night is shattered. In fact, my chances at love are non-existent. Who would want someone so impure and filthy? I start, I start hyper ventilating. No, I can't have a breakdown right here. It's not safe. My hands ache as I start the car and pull out of the parking lot. I am barely focusing on the road. I just want the this pain to end. I want to go home and tell V everything that happened, but I couldn't because he would be disappointed in me. I think it would be it would break me to see the disappointment in his eyes or hear him say I told you Hanji was bad news When we first met Hanji he had been friendly with him but as soon as Hanji left he told me that he didn't like him he told me that he didn't think Hanji was right for me and that he didn't like his vibe. At the time, I had gotten so pissed and yelled at him saying that he was only jealous because I had a great boyfriend and he didn't. To which he replied saying, whatever, don't come running to me when he hurts you. All I have to offer is as I told you so we are hardly ever fight fought and that was our biggest fight when we both eventually calmed down we apologized taking back what he said telling me that I can came to him for or with anything I had always apologized I also apologized for my comments I should have listened to him and broken up with Hanji. We would think that 
this was my fault and that I could have pretend, prevented it. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I know that isn't true. He would, he will not say anything like this, but I can't help it. Plus, that guy said that he would hurt me if I told anyone. I would rather go through this turmoil again than have we go through it i have been to be strong and at least try to protect him no i can't tell him i can't let anyone i can't tell anyone and can never tell anyone which means i have to pretend to be okay i need to think of a believable lie that i can tell my brother so that i can have a few days to at least to be able to walk and sit properly i am started out of my thoughts by bright headlights coming towards me the truck is far enough and the road is big enough that i can serve to avoid the truck hurting towards me but instant i just continue on it in my lane and let the truck continue its approach maybe i am better off dead as i can't tell anyone about this and i can't i don't want to live a heck of life i close my eyes the truck collided collides with my car v is pov um, i remember half asleep struggling closer to the warmth enveloping my body my eyes slowly fl- flutter open and i smile gently turning uh, around to face shankar the greek god of a man wrapped around me i reach out and gently stroke his cheek he is absolutely gorgeous having the most beautiful I chocolate abs and a jawline soft enough to cut through glass. His burnet hair is separate across the pillow and he is snoring softly. I carefully remove myself from his embarrassment and walk over to the mini fridge in his room. I open the fridge and pull out a water drinking down it. Contained in the record time, I was dying for water. I lightly glance, thinking about back about earlier tonight, or should I say last night? Since it was now 4 a.m., it was amazing. Definitely have to go Jungkook's number and. Ask him out when he have breakfast later. Amusing that Jungkook let me stay for breakfast. I move closer to the bed, smiling softly as I watch his peaceful sleeping face. Oh gosh, I'm such a creep for watching him sleep. Oh, I feel like I'm Pancho. I see my phone screen light up and buzz quietly, tossing the empty water bottle in the. When I walk over and pick up the phone, quietly leaving the room to answer it, "Hi, baby bro." My voice came out all harshy, and I clear my throat. Why is Tham calling me at this time? He dropped to his boyfriend's house, so he shouldn't need a ride or anything. Hello. Is this V that I am speaking to? I take the phone from my ear to check the caller ID. It is my brother's number. So why is someone random woman calling me from it? Yeah, this is he. Who is this? I feel a sense of horror settling in me. I am calling from Seoul City Hospital. The owner of this phone, Kim Tae-yong, has been admitted to this hospital. He was. My ear started ringing and I can't hear anything else that she is saying. Oh my God, thank! My knees give out under me and I slide to the floor. My heart is so loud 
Every breath that I take hurts. I need to get to the hospital. I I I am on the way. I struggle to get the word out of my mouth. I don't listen what she is saying and hang up the phone. I can't make out her words anyway. I can't hear anything above the sound of my erect heartbeat. I can't think what to do. You Uber. I need to call a Uber. I quickly open the app and order one. It says that one will be here in six minutes. I get up from the floor and walk towards the apartment door and I step outside there is a young woman walking down the corridor and she gaps eyes traveling down my body she points at me and says something but i didn't hear i don't hear her i look down to where she is pointing oh i'm still only in my shorts Normally I would be blushing embarrassed mess but right now I only have one thought I need to get to Thehang to see if he is okay. Uh, I should have tried harder to listen to what that nurse was telling me. I turn around and head back inside to get my clothes. After some effort I managed to pull on a shirt and pant and put on some socks and shoes before walking back out of the apartment towards the elevator i press the button and wait tapping my foot against the marble floor the elevator finally dings and i hurry in pressing the lobby button i repeatedly slam my finger over the closed door close button pressing it about a million times but the door take their sweet time of closing After what feels like an eternity, I reopen and I bolt towards the waiting Uber, repeatedly jumping in, and the car starts heading in the direction of the hospital. What happened to Thay Hung? He said that he is going to hunch his last night. I swear to God, if that little freaking face hurt my brother, I will rip his eyeballs out. I pull out my phone and dial Hanji's number. Maybe he is at the hospital with Thang and I can find out from him if Thang is okay. It rings and then eventually goes to voicemail. Uh, I hate this freaking face. Why wouldn't he answer the phone? Hanji had to be with Thang because why would Thang be on the road alone at this time? Maybe they got in an accident and Hanji died on the spot. I snicker at the thought of Hanji dying. Gosh, I really don't like Hanji, but I promised Thang that I would try to get along with him. So I quickly took back my evil thoughts. I tried the dirt bag one more time but it goes straight to voicemail did he did this freak just turn off his phone oh, i want to punch his idiotic face my thoughts return to thang the last time i felt such dead was when our father weighed the stupid out of thang and he almost died i knew that our father verbally hating thang he 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 verbally hurt all of us. Thang, however, has always been shy and sensitive, so I would step in whenever I heard my father yelling offensive things at Thang. I decided that I wouldn't have leave Thang alone with our father once I realized that he got most of the verbal hurt and me and my two brothers into it, helping them keep keeping Thay and father to be apart whenever they are around.
the date he hung almost died he was supposed to be at school but he bunk the class with two of his friends at the time and they went back to our house to play on the hung's new gaming computer our dad came back drunk and find him at home took out his all anger on the thanks friend friends left once our father started hitting the hung I don't blame them for that. I understand them not wanting to intervene and get hurt anyway. They were small kids, but they could have at least called the police or alerted someone of what was happening, but they didn't. In fact, they never even visited the hung in hospital and avoided him at school once they returned. I am pulled from my thoughts by the sound of uber driver's voice we will just stop and pick up this passenger on the way the heck did i accidentally order an uber pole i pull out my phone and check uh, i ordered an uber pole no please take me straight to the hospital i didn't mean to order an pull i will change it in the app Gosh, I'm so stupid. We pull up in front of the hospital, and I am out of the car, running before the car even stops. Hello, my brother. Kim Tae Young is admitted in the hospital. I got a call. Can you tell me if he is okay? My voice is trembling. By the end, I am told to have a seat and wait because Tae Young is in surgery. I sit and feel the tears. that were threatening to fall since i first got that phone call running down my cheeks thank can die i need him in my life we are inseparable and i have never spent more than a few days apart from him how could how can i live without him no i wouldn't think like that i can't think like that they will survive he is strong i know he will be fine i pull my phone and out and call my elder brother jin jin hyung and his fiance nam jun and hobi hyung are all here hobi's wife hani didn't came though she was pre- pregnant and on a strict bed rest she called every hour and find to find out if we heard anything and ask us to eat a little something it took 5 hours before the doctor came to us thing lost a lot of blood a few broken ribs a few broken ribs a conscious but is he okay is he stable i heard all but scream at the doctor like couldn't see lead with whether he was fine or not yes he is stable for now he will keep we will keep an eye on him tonight it may take a few days for him to wake up but we are all confident that he will be wake up thing is going to be okay that's all I, that matters jungkook's pov as i woke up from my sleep my hand floats with the image of v from last night do he was gorgeous he is so cute his with messy hair and thoughtful blushy gray eyes he was tiny especially when compared to him my 62 muscular frame but kitesh thing about him was how he, his glasses perfectly frame his face actually forget it all everything about him was cute even the way he teased me about my design choice he is perfect i smiled and reached out to cuddle him there is no way he just left after night we had i opened my eyes and look around where is he i get out of the bed calling out his name as i reach the apartment what the heck did he really just leave i can't believe this i really 
I feel my heart sink. He seems to enjoy my company. I thought it would be more than a one night stand. Maybe he left a note or his number. I look through my apartment for any sign of a note but find nothing. I did however find that he drank a bottle of water and that he took the long sleeve shirt I was wearing last night with him as well as one of my socks. Leaving behind his short jacket and sock, well, that's odd. Maybe something happened and he had to live in hurry. If not, why would he leave his stuff and take my stuff? I'm trying to figure out why he, this beautiful boy left without a word when my doorbell rings. I, I throw on a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt and answer the door wow looks like you got light last night Jung, jungkook one of my best friend and business partner smirk at me and i roll my eyes letting him inside hey let me get something for you i say to jungkook as i sit on the couch opposite him and he started telling him about my night with me so it's weird right that he took my shirt and one of my socks Jungkook look at him look at me for long enough to make me slightly uncomfortable you actually really like him don't you Jungkook asks yeah i think so he's easy to talk to and speaks his mind not to mention super cute i look down at my hands and mumble out the last part i think i'm gonna marry him someday jungle gaps at me dude how are you so wimpered it's been just one night it's true i am wimpered one look from b and i would give him the world i mean i brought him hawaii pizza hawaii stupid i never fall for any guys this easily i don't know it's weird i am not romantic mad but i can see the future with him like a future i didn't even know i wanted until i met him i spent an hour searching my house to see if he left a note or mobile number that's insane i'm going insane i have actually gone insane it's time for me to be admitted to a poncho ward i say the last part in complete seriousness and jungle brush out laughing i glared and stared at him he thought i am joking stop laughing i'm serious what is wrong with you you are friend is good your friend is going through a hold on wait uh, hold up we said we said that he runs an interior designer business i will see if i can find it online and hire him i need to decor the new house i'm moving into anyway so that's perfect then uh, when we get there i can ask him out jungkook looks at me like i am insane which i just told him that i am so i don't know why is he even surprised okay what if after all that effort you do see him again but he doesn't want you to go out with you jungkook asks his thoughts out to me hmm i didn't thought about that i thought he w- would 100% say yes but there really uh, is a possibility that we wouldn't want to date me maybe he just like to do one nights my client my chest suddenly feels tight as i came to realization that i could indeed just one night stand that thought pain pains me of more than i care 
care to acknowledge but even if it doesn't work out i still think it's worth trying to find we i let out a loud sigh well if that's the case there is nothing i can do i'm not gonna force him to go out with me i'll see I still hire him to decor the house if he is comfortable with that then that way i still get to interact with him a bit to talk about how i want the house decorated do you really think he wouldn't want to go out with me i ask i honestly don't know but since there seems to mean so much of you to you we can postpone packing up your stuff for an for a few hours and i can help you search the net for your interior designer called v jungo grelly is such a great friend we spend the next 4 hour searching the net for interior designer called v it's been 4 hours maybe he doesn't exist or he lied about his job maybe even his name jungkook said and i grew more disheartened with every passing hour let's just stop looking we have to start packing my stuff anyways i said with a sad face jungkook gave me a sad smile but agrees and we start putting my stuff in boxes a big past but i still hadn't found we he didn't drop by my apartment and i didn't find his interior designer business online i had visited to vij who ran interior designer business but no available of the we i am searching for i found myself thinking about how constantly and while i marveled at the memory of him it hurts that i couldn't talk to him or touch him well will i will i really never see we again the couple rented what once was my apartment moved in the day after i left and now here i am standing in front of the door i knock on the door and wait for them to open hello how can i help you the woman that opens the door says in a good voice hello i am john john cook and i used to live in this apartment there was a guy that came over a few days before i moved out we don't have each other's contact information do you mind giving him my number if he re- ever so up also please contact me once you give him the card so i know he has my number his name is we i hand her my business card and her eyes widen in shock our tech company is world one of the best tech companies in world and i am the ceo of that company Oh, oh okay i will pass this along if he comes she shutters out i thank her and came back to my car i head back to work leaving a few hours later i stop to pick up sushi take out on my way way back home i walk through the doors of my new house and wonder if i should hire another designer i say I can't wait for V forever maybe I have become obsessive and that's not healthy I should stop I really think V is my future so I also feel like I have to give it some time but if I don't find him or any leads on where V could be within the next month I have to move on it was one night and I 
can't stuck on it forever the more time that went by the more i think about that we lied to me about who he was i climb in bag and in bed and pull out my ipad from the nightstand google interior designer name named we wow this is obsessive i have to stop everyone if you didn't watch the first episode of this story and want to watch it so link in the description box please check it out also if you like the story please do like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next uh, um saturday 9 30 pm with another part of this story till then take care safe also um this episode was a bit like intense emotional and triggered so i just hope you will love it and i feel a lot of sadness and i cried while writing this so i just hope you will love it and see you again bye